what do we have here, Rob? We have, a, a, I'm seeing a lot of different boards and a lot of different uh, XVs on here. There really are. We really wanted to show the variety and diversity of solutions that you can create. So depending on your use case, the problem you're trying to solve, we wanted to really demonstrate all the different ways to do it. And SparkFun's been a great partner for that because SparkFun can provide all kinds of sensors and actuators that uh, fill those use cases. Great. So say for example, you want to monitor a space for noise. You want to know if it's crowded or too loud, or you might be doing predictive maintenance. Yeah. And uh, you want to know if a machine is uh, making too much noise in a way that it shouldn't or doesn't usually. So for that, one of the things you can use is a loudness sensor. This loudness sensor detects the uh, amount of decibels of noise. And so to simulate that, we have our clown horn. And you can see if I light up the clown horn, our noise level goes up. And when I stop being annoying, the noise level will go back down. Got it. A lot of times what we want to do is actuate something. So maybe we want to turn a device on or off and do that remotely. So this sensing solution is built based on a SparkFun quick button and a SparkFun quick relay. And the button and the relay are connected together through the cloud. So when I press the button, you can see the light will start breathing and that tells us that uh, a signal is being sent to actuate a device. And that goes to this relay. And when the relay switches on, we switch on our device. In this case, the Digi XB Air Dancer, who uh, is winking and blinking and flopping around at us. And then to turn him off again, we simply press the button again. You can see it goes into a low breathing mode saying, hey, I've sent a signal to go ahead and turn that device off. And when the device is fully off, we can see our air dancer has collapsed. The light goes out and that's positive confirmation back from the remote device that it really did turn off. Okay. Yeah. This is one of my uh, favorites. This is a moisture sensor and I'll show you the moisture sensor. So these are two probes that can go into soil. This is a great solution for connected agriculture. So let's say we could monitor the soil or maybe we're worried that our golf course is gonna dry up and we're monitoring the soil for that. And then we could actually automatically actuate irrigation um, in the same way that you saw with that air dancer. So we take the soil moisture sensor, We've got, uh, right now, since it's out of the soil, it's saying, well, I really don't see much in the way of moisture. That goes into the soil. And then we're gonna be reading the soil moisture. Well, that looks pretty good. I think our plant has been well watered. But as the soil moisture goes down, we could remotely trigger some kind of watering system or solution, or maybe even just an alert to someone who wants to know. What's up with the Nintendo characters? All right, so these are all RFID cards. And this is a demonstration of a solution for, let's say, access control. Let's say you had a, um, a gate that you wanted to open, but only open for authorized people. Now, in this case, the authorized people are our Nintendo characters. So if we take, for example, Mario and run them on the RFID reader, that signal gets read by the reader, which is a SparkFun uh, product, processed in MicroPython on the XB, uploaded to the cloud, and then by retrieving numbers through the API, we can see that Mario's up there. Right. We've also got Toad, Yoshi, and Princess Peach. So the scale. This is basically a uh, load cell on a setup. This also comes from SparkFun Electronics. And we hung some weights on the scale. And when we remove the weights from the scale, we can see on the dashboard that, okay, now we are weighing zero grams. And if I replace all these weights, it will, and this is pretty accurate, uh, tell us exactly how much weight is on that scale. So now we're seeing about 234 grams. And obviously if I pull down hard on it, it will uh, increase probably to a few kilograms. So this could be used for inventory management Let's say you have a bunch of product, you want to know how much is there. We could uh, use it for tank monitoring or really anything where you wanted to know how much some kind of material is available. Great. Yeah. Or you could just weigh yourself. You're right. <laughs> SMS texting. 
Yeah, so this is just a fun demonstration because I, I love doing this because it gets people to actually work with these devices from their own phones and see that what they're doing is really functioning. So the SMS text display takes an SMS and because these are cellular, they can receive an SMS directly. So when you send an SMS, it'll go directly to the SIM card here on this device, get displayed, but then we'll also upload your SMS to the cloud so we can show it on our multifunction dashboard. So let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, we actually so have a little okay, scanner okay. here so you can scan uh, this QR code. And all that does is just gives you the phone number. Great. And then uh, go ahead and send a message to that phone number, uh, you know, maybe four or five words. All right, it's sent. All right, and wow. here we can see it. Hello from SparkFun. And you also see it, not only is it displayed in the local display where the message was received, but also up on our dashboard. We've got a GNS as location on our, where we're at right now at the Las Vegas Convention Center. That's right. Um, where, where is that? Well, that's actually not here. Okay. And the reason it's not here is uh, for this show, we uh, rented a van and we're driving around to pick people up and drop them off. Sure. And so uh, we originally had the GNS sensor sitting here on the table, but they're all cellular so, and they're all battery powered. Right. So you can pick them up and take them anywhere and they'll still work. So, you know, for example, that GNSS sensor, we took it and we put it, of course, in our van. So it's driving around and we can see where our van is at any time right up here on our dashboard as well. A little more interesting than just you are here. Oh yeah, yeah, right, for sure, I love it. The heart rate sensor, um, uh, this again is a SparkFun product with a great library that was recently written. So all you have to do is uh, hold your finger over the green light lightly and uh, wait probably five seconds or so for it to get a good reading. And there we have a heart rate. It's an exciting time. Yes. How is it all working? How, how is the data from here being translated to the screen? Oh, that's a great question. So how this all works, I'll take you through the data path from where we sense it all the way through to where we display it. So we start out by sensing data. Um, I'll just use this simple light sensor here. When I cover it up, it's not gonna have very many lumens. And this is an I squared C base sensor with a quick connector, and that's a standard connector. I squared C is a device communication protocol. It's, a, a, again, a, a standard in electronics. Using the I squared C, the XB can actually interrogate the light sensor in its own language using a MicroPython library that makes it very quick to develop, so you don't have to know exactly how the sensor works, and SparkFun provides all of that. And then the XB runs that MicroPython program, looks at the sensor, but also knows the timings for uploads. Uh, all of that is in code. And then we'll upload and manage that upload, in this case, to Digi Remote Manager, which is Digi's cloud solution for managing and aggregating data. Once that information is in the cloud, in a data stream, it then can be read by anyone with an API key who's authorized. And uh, what we have up on the dashboard here is a web application that is using API calls against Digi Remote Manager to grab the data that we've uploaded and then display it in uh, I, what I think is a visually very entertaining way. Interested in the heart rate sensor? Yeah, yeah, I really want to touch it. <laughs> okay, so uh, this past uh, first week of <laughs> uh, oh, oh, you get sorry. Okay, Next, at the Diddy Diddy Diddy. <laughs> <laughs>